What's good, YouTube? This is Jay from T and J, back to give you episode two of the series following the Akron Zips. And man, I, I apologize because I've been slacking with my content, but uh, I just got a new capture card, so I just been playing with it a little bit. And I made a mistake, uh, messed up with recording some games, so here's partially some of the games. I mean, like you can see here, we starting off in the second half. I was recording the first half, and I kind of lost the content. I tried to export the media, and it seemed to be corrupted, so I did something wrong, but now I'm back to the way I should be doing it. So no more mistakes from now on man let's get into this gameplay as you can see I'm a big in the third quarter versus Bowling Green this is our first actually in conference game uh, we're looking to go 1-0 in conference and we're looking to take this conference you already know the goals man so as you can see here they're trying to go for it on fourth down they got one last shot and look at that we taking them down for the sack we take down Bowling Green 41 to 21 Phil Jones had that run back. Derek Stewart had two sacks. And let's get into the next game. Playing Ohio here in the fourth quarter. And their running back takes the ball. The first play to start the fourth. He takes it to the house. 60 yards for the touchdown. My defense, my run defense in particular is so bad. They get pancakes on every single play. But next drive, here we go. We rolling out. Clemens is actually in, and he throws the ball, and it's right to the defender for the interception. My starter quarterback got hurt, so he was taking over a lot in this game. And as you can see, their running back is just tearing us up. Next play, he gets the ball, and he's just, just walking into the end zone. And they take a commanding 10-point lead going in to the end of the fourth that's actually 11 point lead and here I'm just trying to put together a drive my guy gets smacked up next play Higgins is actually in who's my third string quarterback my backup got hurt so they're just injuring all my players my my starting running back is actually hurt in this game and now my backup quarterback is hurt and look at that I try to force a pass and I can't get it through so look at this play had a chance to make a big play on defense and look at my guy my guy just sits there he doesn't pick it that was a pick six easy but anyway i get the ball back on a fourth down here i find my guy hall and he gets there for the first luckily just passing the 20 and here i'm running the play action read and look at this i threw it right to his defender he just batted it down anyway clemens comes back and he finds a tight end over the middle for a 12 yard gain Clemens is trying to put together a drive here. He finds his guy over the middle again, and Hall gets down to about the 45-yard line. And look at this, another guy open in the flats. I'm trying to make a comeback here, throwing a Rollins, who's actually emerging as a star on offense. And I run the kind of same pattern. I see it's open again, so let me run it again. One more time for the kids. Rollins gets in, and we are making this game closer and closer 45 seconds left I got one shot here on a two-point conversion and I get it Whitmore is back in the game he gets the call and on an onside kick I'm gonna get it I'm gonna have 45 seconds to drive down the field down three and at least tie it up Clemens finds Rollins who's open again for the fly route he gets the catch and Clemens is doing a good job finds Rollins again and Clemens drops back to pass and he finds Brown over the middle with 20 seconds left and one more time Brown over the middle and let's take it down to the field for this one Brown picks up seven yards with that catch Just sealed the deal. So I cannot get out of bounds. I can't throw it away. The clock just kept running, and they would not let me just run a play, hurry up. So I fall to two and three, losing 31 to 28 to Ohio. Now I'm headed into Buffalo with a two and three record. I'm trying to just prove myself in the conference now. I mean, man, it's going to be a 
tough battle to get to the conference championship, but it's all right because we got Sam Harris back, and he's finding Rollins to the outside for the gain, for the 20-yard gain. Later in that drive, we give the ball to Williams, and he gets into the end zone to make it 7-0 early on the first drive. Buffalo gets the ball back with Grisby, and look at that. He throws a one-handed snag to his outside receiver, and on the next play, Britt, the running back, takes a long run all the way up into the red zone. And on a couple of plays later, the running back stumbles into the end zone to make it 7-7. On the next drive, Harris is dropping back, and he's finding his guy to the outside for a nice 30-yard gain. I think that might be his longest throw in the season, to be honest. And on the next play, he gets sacked, so the Bulls get the ball back, and they're just running down the field. My defense is doing horrible. We are just letting them get whatever they want, but we get a sack here, so we get the ball back 7-7 basically on our own 10 and we get out of there so we're trying to make this a drive and I have a guy wide open but no I'm gonna run it and I'm gonna slide so Harris he's got the first down on the next play Whitmore I run him in motion and he's open and I try to make a spin move and I cannot get out of that tackle that was a wide open touchdown but it doesn't matter because later in the drive Leonard Williams gets in for the touchdown and their running back on the next drive slips a tackle and he is off to the races and nobody's catching him and they are going to tie this game up at 14. On the next drive, Akron's just trying to make something happen and he tries to throw deep and the safety catches up. He severely underthrew that ball. There was a guy wide open downfield and he just underthrew him for a pick and the Bulls don't miss their opportunity to capitalize so they get in and on the next drive their defense is just swallowing up our tackles so the Bulls get the ball back again and their quarterback sees nothing but green field in front of them and he makes it to the 40 yard line and they settle for a field goal but no it's shanked to the left it looked like it was going down the middle but then it just moved and on the next play we still can't do anything so the Bulls are in control. And look, we force a fumble, but we cannot pick it up. So we're still down by seven. And you know what? We're going to get in there anyway for the next sack. And on the next drive, we're going to try to find a guy. But their guy tips it at the line. On fourth down, I luckily find Rollins. He gets in there for a first. Whitmore, we give the ball to him. And we're just trying to get into the end zone here late in the game. On third down, we try with our fullback, and we cannot get there. So on fourth, we are forced to pitch it to the outside, and Williams cannot power in there. So we are stuffed with two minutes left, and all they need is a couple of first downs to seal the game. And there's one of them. And on a couple plays later, they get another one. So the Bulls are going to take this one 21-14. Their rushing attack was all over us. Their starter had 225 yards and two touchdowns. Hopefully, we can just play some defense. We can put up some points. We can do something because this is just horrible. So, hit subscribe. We'll be back for the next episode. See if we can bounce back. Peace.